Hey guys, Hack Tutorials, and today I bring to you the fourth video of my series How to Make an SPRX Menu for the PS3 in C++. So in the previous video we were able to spawn the background of our menu on into, into MW3, and in this game we're going to be spawning all of our text, including the title and the options. So just to note before I start, uh, in my previous project uh, I was trying to add the text, and every time I tried to add text, uh, for some reason, the game would freeze and my menu wouldn't work so I started a brand new project and copy and pasted the code from that project into this one and now it works for some reason I have no idea why I guess that's just how programming is so yeah everything is the same so if you notice that the project is called something different it is a different project just all the code is the same so everything should be the same for you so let's jump right in first thing we're going to do is declare a new HUD element called title so write game underscore HUD LM underscore S pointer title given an array of 18 and I misspelled this like I usually do uh, okay so now I'll go to the store HUDs function type title client equals set text not set shader it's slightly different and then for the first parameter write client for the second parameter, it asks you for the text, but you could write whatever you want. This is not actually going to be the text that's going to be displayed uh, for the HUD inside the game. So I just put title for readability. Then for the font, uh, I'm going to put 3. For the font scale, basically just the size of the font, I'm going to put 2.7. For the X coordinate, I'm going to be putting 900. For the Y coordinate, I'll put 90. Then for the align, this doesn't need any aligning with anything else, so just put 0. Then for the RGB and alpha, we want to make the letters completely white, but it's going to have a glow on the outside. So to make it white and completely visible, we're going to put D55 for all of them. So all those are 255. Now moving on, we have the glow color. And I'm going to make this the glow around the text. Uh, cyan, which is like the Skype logo. So to make it cyan, uh, the colors or the, the RGB values are 21, 244, 238, and 255 to make it completely visible. So that's it for the storing it. Then to act, the first thing we're going to do in the run menu is actually change the text of this title to whatever you want it to say. So to do that, we're going to write change text, it's a function, uh, and then for the first parameter we're going to be putting title client, that's the element we want to change the text of, and then put what you wanted to change it to. So I'm going to be putting tutorial, that's going to be name, dang it I can't spell today, tutorial, like that, because that is the most original name I've ever come up with. So underneath here we're going to be doing the move over time function to get it on the screen, so move over time and then put title as the first parameter and then client uh, for the time uh, it's going to be 200 just like the background for the float x we're going to be moving it over to 530 and then the y coordinate should be the same which is 90 for the delete hud we're just going to copy and paste this except change 530 back to 900 so we could go off the screen I'm not going to be testing this right now because that'll just take a bunch of time. So I'm just going to go move on, and we're going to start on the options. So the options are a little bit trickier, but not hard. Uh, I'll explain everything I need to. So right, game underscore hud lm underscore s pointer options. Give it the 18 array. And it's actually going to be a two-dimensional array. And after the 18, are you serious? I actually misspelled it again. After the 18, we're actually going to be putting an array of 10. So 10 is actually how many options are visible. So we want 10 options in our menu. If you want 15 options, do that. 10 is just pretty suitable, especially for a tutorial. Um, and then 18 is just the clients. So it's a two-dimensional array. Um, for every one of these 18, there's going to be 10. So I would just go ahead and learn about multi-dimensional arrays. You know, it's a useful thing to know. So here's where it gets a little bit different. 
we're going to be making a for loop <coughs> that's going to generate all of our options. So we're going to do for int j uh, equals zero, and usually I use int i, but that's for the clients. So I like to use j for the options, and uh, so for j is less than ten, so that's zero through nine, which is ten options, and then plus plus j. So we want to increment j every single time we go through the loop. So here we're going to do options client um, for the first array, for the, for the first part of the array. And then for the second part, we're going to be putting j, that's for the actual option inside the loop. Set it equal to set text. I'm going to write client, comma. And here it doesn't matter again, I'll just put pop for option. For the font, I'm going to be putting 1. For the font scale, I'm going to be putting 0 0.65. Then for the, the x coordinate, I'll put 900 off the screen like the other ones. For the y coordinate, this is where it gets a little bit different. So every option you have is an x amount of units underneath the previous option. They're not all the options, not all the 10 options are on the same y coordinate. They're all underneath each other. So we're going to make a variable, a float, called float y, and set it equal to 105. 105 is the y coordinate of the first option, and we want um, we want this coordinate to increment by a certain amount um, every single option, so that all the options are underneath each other with some space in between. So here, put y for the y coordinate. Then we're going to put one for the align because we do want to align all the options so that they're all aligned with each other. For the RGBA, we're going to make it the same as the title. We're just going to make it white and all visible, so 255 for all of them. And for the glow, we don't want any glow around our text, so we're going to put a zero for everything. And then end it off. So then after this, the last part is we need to actually increment this Y value so that all the options are underneath each other by a certain amount. So we're going to do Y plus equals 25. So basically every option is 25 units underneath the other one, the, the previous one. Um, if you're not familiar with this operator, the plus equals, all it says is y equals y plus 25. It just adds 25 to the previous y. Um, it's very similar to the plus plus, um, except the plus plus is even shorter. That's like saying y equals y plus 1. All right, so move down to the run menu and actually copy all of this. You need all of it. Paste it. And we're gonna be changing this line here. So put move over time, title, or sorry, not, not title, options, client, J. For the time, put 200 like the other ones. For the X coordinate, put 598, and for the y coordinate, put y. Um, then you could just move, the, copy and paste all of this to the delete HUDs, and all you need to change is 598 back to 900, so it goes back off the screen to 900. Um, so that's pretty much all, except now we actually need to set the text of the options, because right now they're just random text from the game. Um, so in order to actually set the text, I've actually made a new header file called menu selection. It's pretty fresh. Also, don't forget to include it in your prx.cpp like this. So first thing we're going to do is do pragma once to avoid any confusion of our project. You want to put that on top of every header file. And first thing we're going to do is make a new function called void menu options. And we're going to add parameters to this as we go on. For now, all we need is just in client. And then inside here, uh, here's what we're going to do. First, we're going we're to make a variable um, called char pointer. This is going to be a string. Um, options. Actually, I'll just call it op. And then make it an array of 10. So this represents our 10 options that we're working with. So what we're going to do is 
uh, manu manually set the text of each one of these options. So we're going to go like, um, and I don't want this to be capitalized actually, I'll just make, make it like that. We'll go op zero equals whatever, and we'll be putting sub menu one. And just go ahead and copy and paste this until you get to 10. So that's 10. Um, make sure you change these. So options 0 through 9, which is all, ten, all, all 10 of them. And then change the text of each submenu. We don't want all of them to say 1. All right, looks good. And now what we want to do is just change the text of our options HUD to all of these uh, options, to the text of these options. So to do that, we need, we need to make a for loop again for int j equals 0 j is less than 10 plus plus j and we're going to do change text we're going to be changing our options so put options client j we're going to change it to all of these options so put op and then j so for an example for example if you were in the uh, zero part of the loop it would be like the zeroth option would be equal to the zeroth op right here. So it just automatically sets all of these to all of the option HUDs. So and the last thing we need to do is actually call this function in our in our uh, main loop. So we're going to be doing it like this. Um, when you click left, we want our options to pop up. So um, run menu. I'll put it before actually. Um, menu options. And then put I. And I think this is the this is an ideal place to put it. Um, you might I don't know, maybe you want to put it inside here. Um, I think this should work fine though. So now this should be good. We could go ahead and control S and then click F7 to build it. And now we're gonna put it on PS3. So I'm, I'm connected to my PS3 with Target Manager. You could do the same with FileZilla. So go inside your TMP folder, which I'll just demonstrate real quick. So go dev underscore HDD zero, scroll down to TMP, and you're inside here. So just go ahead and drag the SPRX in there. And now you can go into the game. All right, so I'm in the game at MW3, and I just wanna move into the sunlight. And if we click left to open our menu, here is how it looks like. So we have the title on top, which says tutorial, like we named it. And then we have all the submenus generated nice and neatly, um, all underneath each other with the same spacing, all the same size, and they're all aligned down the middle. So right now you can't really see the alignment because they're all like the same length basically, except the 10th one. You can see the 10th one is actually longer than the rest of them because the number 10 is longer than number nine or any of these. So you can see the number 10 is actually aligned down the middle. So if you basically, if you renamed these to all strings of different lengths, it would all be aligned down the center. And it would look really nice and neat. Um, if you guys don't like this font or size or whatever it may be, this is all up to you guys. You could go ahead and play around with it. It's your menu. Okay, I'm just making these tutorials to explain how things work and how to do them. But this is what we're gonna have. Um, also, I need to decide for the next video uh, how I want this menu to work, or I mean, I guess look. So whether I want an actual physical scroll, it's like a scroller to go down this menu to select the options, um, or just whenever you're uh, on an option, it sort of like highlights it. And I'll give you two examples on the screen of each one right now. So I want you guys to comment which one you think looks better, which thing, which one you'd rather have me teach you how to do. But for now, I don't really feel like doing the scroller. I think. Um, because my own menu uses the scroller, I don't want to copy off my menu so much. So um, for now, I kind of want to do just to highlight every option whenever you're hovering over it. Um, but otherwise, just in the comments, let me know what you want. Because if you want the scroller, I will be glad. I will gladly do that. So uh, I hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.